Brian Fred is smoking and not doing the interview, so please bear with us as we get set up for the next stream. Yes, and apparently we have to go a little fast because one of the top four has a flight out of Newark at 6.45 today. <sighs> oh, okay. Well, <laughs> oops. But we are getting ready, and we have Hayes Hunter versus... Ryan Jelson. Uh, I believe Hayes is starting on the dark side. Jelson on light side. So it is the Tatooine Desert Landing Site SSA versus what we have a plan. This will be an interesting matchup. Uh, one of the benefits of the Tatooine Desert Landing Site deck is that uh, you get the you get the Jabba's Haven to get activation going early. Uh, you get Java's Palace to get activation going early. And you get the free pullback with uh, Java's Haven of any of your ships or any of the numerous aliens in your deck. Um, they also play Jury Juice, uh, which allows you to pull the Cantina, pull Jasper, uh, get some card peaks, and uh, establish a ground presence at a good drain location uh, early on in the game. I know they play a couple copies of uh, Stunning Leader, or at least one copy of Stunning Leader anyway. I would imagine maybe two. Um, standard EPP, uh, Force Lightning, Ground Package that people were running in Tom decks uh, throughout the year, and uh, just without the Destiny 7s, I believe, other than Phantom Menaces. Again, right. Uh, again, we will have our fir uh, another fir uh, first time world champion after after all of this is said and done. So that is definitely exciting. Huh? Well, you. Uh, we okay. Here. Uh, we're going to get Brian Fred on the interview, so you want to just... Uh, well, I'll, I'll interview you. Here. Well, I mean, they're playing, though, right? Yes, they're playing, but we'll do the interview I don't wanna, as, a, as we talk. As I don't want to, like, well, I don't want to see what the cards they have. Why don't we talk over here? We're going to talk We're gonna talk to Brian Fred off camera. Right. Oh, so, Brian, tell me, what were you thinking about during that match? What now? What were you thinking about during that it's match? I can't hear you. You can't. Well, I can't hear you either, but that's okay. I, yeah. They can hear oh. us. Uh, no, no, wait, you, wait, you keep the headset on. No, I mean, I can't yeah, hear okay. what you're saying. Oh, okay. They can, they can oh. probably hear me talking. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, rah, 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 rah. Okay. What was I thinking? Yeah, what during, were you thinking? Like during the game one, like when, when you see invasion versus what he's doing. I was thinking I needed doing. to kill some of his Jedis, which never happened. Yeah. He was forfeiting his own guys so he could retrieve them, and yeah. I just couldn't hit anybody, which sucked. So yeah. I just tried to keep as much force as I can to take out all of his drains. And then it got to the point where like time was like close. I just, I knew he couldn't beat me. And that's why I had him stop the timer so that I could uh, ask a question and be like, what's the, cause on GIMP, you know, it's like however many they have left. Yeah. And then in match play though, it's just like the difference. So that's what I was asking. Yeah, I didn't know that rule either. Cause like when I, when he counted up the light, the life force at the end of that game, I thought he had won by like 27. And oh, yeah. I was just like, oh wow, that's crazy. That's why I was. That's why I, I had. I it was like, can you pause the clock? Because I don't want to, like, you know. Cost you don't want to cost any him time. any more time on that. But yeah. I knew that. I and thought that's, that's what, what I would expect from you. That's what I would expect from you. You're a good player, man. And You're second, a good sport. In the second game, I just, I had it. My my opening hand was two locations and six red cards. So I was like, well, of course. But then, I mean, I knew what I needed. Yeah, you to looked a little bit game. frustrated early on. Really frustrated with the draw. So, but yeah, that's. That's but it. you know that matchup's favored in your in your, yeah your yeah of course yeah <laughs> like you knew that last year I just waited you know put down the Falcon with Anakin killed his Star Destroyer when he gave me the opportunity just like when he gave me spots I took him and then yeah it looked like you just methodically destroyed that deck I would like to think that I played well that game you very <laughs> much did sir but yeah I Chris is hurrying us along I'm gonna I need to run to the restroom still and okay we'll see how the next round goes well good luck sir. Ryan Fridge.
everybody. Okay. Brian Fred, everybody. And again, he'll be facing off against Casey in the top four. Uh, yes, Robbie, this is 100% a Ryan Jelson WAP as we see that he is playing Ryan Jelson cards. I can't, I don't remember what. Uh, another pathetic life form and security control, security control V, and Walkling. Looks like Hayes has gotten out both of his systems, the Cantina and a Jabba's Palace site. Ryan puts out both his grabber and do or do not. So Ryan will have a lot of force to work with this turn. Okay, there's a home one docking bay for Ryan. I know, I know one thing. Uh, Robbie uh, Hendon, he's definitely glad to see WAP in the top four. And then on the other side of the matchup, we'll be seeing OB1 commuting versus Ryan Jelson ISB. Yep. There's the Queen Amidala. You know WAP really and a well. barrier from you know WAP really from well. yeah I like from barrier Hayes. there I like barrier there because yeah that sticks that sticks Padme there she can't move in that slows mm -hmm. down the flip and it's very awkward because he has to back her up immediately yes yeah that's really detrimental Co Bibble coming down that's going to add to the activation as well as some of the power but that's horrible because that's easy to cut and Hayes is playing a mains platform yes he is. Well, and he's also playing a choke platform. Yes, he is. And that's a wrong Padme to stop that. Yeah. But that's the Padme, unfortunately, that you have to play for this matchup. Oh, no, I'm yeah, She's, like, so good I'm in aware. this deck. I'm just saying playing a backup character like Sia Bibble to back her up is not advisable in against a choke deck. Because what happens if he comes down against just that with Choke Vader, chokes Padme... And mm -hmm. We see a little bit more beef. Okay, that's good. Yep, that is Captain Rex. That's a little bit more intimidating. Uh, not necessarily because... Because of Choke Vader. Choke like Vader. Him. And yeah. Force Lightning. Force Lightning. And yep. there's a ca uh, Commander Cody. Uh, I, I, mean, I like all of this. And if they were in the hallway. He gets to move it all for free. Yeah, if this was if in the survives. hallway, it, it would be so much better. I agree. But right now, this is so bad for Ryan. Well, not necessarily. I mean, Hayes has got to have a lot of options to deal with a lot of characters. Justin, I do agree that Hayes' start is 100% illegal. Um, and I think we need to errata a lot of things. Just errata it. Uh, <laughs> I'm jo honestly, I am joking. This... Um, But yeah, it is a very, very strong start as we saw uh, yesterday in some of the matches that we saw on stream. Yep. Oh, Ryan's start. Uh, good question. Let me go ask Greg. <laughs> I, I, I hope that's just a minor oversight. I don't think Ryan would make that deck building error on purpose. Yeah. But I don't think Hayes is going to let him take that back if that's invalid, so he may lose the card. 
I don't know. Like, Hayes has been trying to get a world championship for a really, really long time. Okay, everybody. No, that is a Hayes legal is great start. Sport. Don't get me wrong. Uh, just, as it is another pathetic life form and secret plan control. or security control. And then the other one is we'll take the long way. Yeah. So was it invalid? No, he's good. He's good. Oh, well, he is good. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's the same picture, but it's just different titled cards. Uh, the combo card is another pathetic life form and security control. The other effect is will take the long way. To get the system and all that. Yeah, that's the one that allows you to deploy the system, deploy yeah. Republic leader. Um, I think design. I think graphics is working on a uh, an AI of that. I don't know because it is a, it is a C slip. The we'll take the long way. Yeah. Uh, I know that's one of the. Uh, things that a lot of people want gone or a lot of the C slips. Uh, yeah, there's and there's so many cards for WAP that just look very similar. Yeah. I do agree. Cuz like I know a lot of people like to run security control V, the new one, yep. and we'll take the long way. So it's literally the two same pictures yep. on the cards. So, but I'm I will say this, good job on the chat for uh, trying to pick it up, yeah. Trying to look at it. Like I I like that. Thank you guys. <laughs> I like that. No, the Pokemon card is to the right of both of them. Oh, okay. And and uh, to the left of his objective. So, even though uh, Hayes went ahead and deployed guys to, or he stopped, he used the Imperial Barrier to slow Ryan down, the fact that he didn't do anything to like mess with that stack is kind of good for Ryan. There was no Vader, there was no Force Lightning, nothing came down there. And that's what I'm saying. Like, he put enough guys down there that it was going to be intimidating to come down right mm -hmm. away. It's just not worth the effort, right? Yeah. But, however, Hayes going down, getting Hondo, Boba Fett, and Josh Pure out. Yeah. That's pretty good. That is really good. The, uh, the question will be if he expects a lot of interaction on the ground early mm -hmm. on. And from the way Hayes has positioned his cards on the ground... I would assume that he's got the stunning leader to back up those guys. Yes. I, I think somebody in the chat pointed it out. Erica V, Erica V, the one that we retrieved plus stunning yeah. leader, is a really nasty loop. Yeah, it is. So, be interesting to see if we have uh, if that comes out this game. Yeah. And one of the nice things about the audience chamber is it pulls Honda, it pulls Erica, it pulls Ara Sang, it pulls a lot of people in the deck. Yeah. And I know Joe said that there's some uh, twists in this deck, so it's going to be interesting to see what those twists are. Well, there's always twists in Team 5 decks. Oh, yeah. And he even said that they were bigger twists than what they did at Nationals, where they played intruder missiles in their, uh, their commuting deck. Okay. So. Let's see... Yoda in uh, Ryan's decks. That's a pretty good card. Uh, but like you said, if there's a Sunny Leader, being able to just cancel a battle would be really good for Hayes. Now, I would love to see... No, he just moves over for free. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, if he had a Nabrin, that would be sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, agreed. Or even a, uh, uh, Odin Nestler, right? Just to move over and flip yeah. during the... Yeah, that, I mean that would basically get around the barrier on mm -hmm. turn one. Yeah, but he is taking the long way. Yes, he is. 
as he just draws some cards. But right here, he's about to take four points of damage in a deck that doesn't retrieve a lot. Yeah. Like Hayes is actually out damaging. Oh, Lap there's really. a weapon levitation. That's interesting. Well, I think he probably figures it's useless in yeah. against what Hayes is doing. No, nope. Hayes is looking at the uh, handmaidens here. Yeah, Yane is a pretty strong card. I have to admit, I don't know what she does. Oh. Is she the one that looks at the top card of the reserve deck? Well, I mean, all the handmaidens can do fun stuff. I know. So she's I just don't the know one them by name. Uh, deploys a character to the same or adjacent site. You act. You can activate a force. Uh, well, with Thalmadala, four plus one. Once per turn, may peek at the top card of your force pile and reserve deck. Okay. Turn one to. Well, that's a really good card with three PO. So yeah. Yeah. I know Batmouse used to play that in his WAP uh, about three years ago. Yeah. Yeah, Batmouse is uh, again. WAP is another deck that Batmouse really likes. And I think that was one of the decks that everybody was talking about last night, but like maybe, but I know I mentioned that it might be a good day two deck because it does so much damage. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're Robbie Hendon, it's a pretty good day one deck. That's true. If you're Wayne Cullen, it's a pretty good deck. Yeah. Except he didn't play today, uh, yesterday. He actually played uh, the, the clone stack. How'd that do for him? Uh, I want to say he was in a play-in game. Okay. So he went 6-2. Uh, and two. That's really impressive. Yeah. Wayne's been, been kind of on a tear for a while. He plays a lot of Episode 1 decks, and he's really good with them. Yeah, he's a big WAP player. Uh, and then I think, I forget what he played for Dark Side. Let me check. Wayne went 4-0 and with clones. That's really impressive. I'm excited to see what his list is then. Yeah. What okay. do you play for Dark? Uh, stand by. Let me pull up. Oh, yeah, I already have it downloaded. But P59 going down to the throne room. Interesting. It's okay. Don't worry about it, Dan. I was just curious if you had it on hand. Oh, he played Revenge of the Sith Dooku. That's right. Yep. Thank you, Jared. Thank that's you, why, Jared. That's why we keep you around. I'm curious about the lone P59 here. Yeah, I don't necessarily like that. I mean, all those characters there are plus defense value, plus two. Because if Ryan's got a sense for the stunning leader, that could be awkward. Yeah. I mean, he's presenting a sense option with Yoda on table. I mean, that's a good point. Oh, 
that's a good point. Yeah, that's a really good point. I didn't see that shield pull. Looks like a General Kenobi coming down against Hondo. And General Jar Jar. So I think he's going to try to overload the stunning leader here by simply going to enough locations that he can't play it twice. Yeah, I do like that. Unfortunately, stunning leader, I think, is not unique. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I, li I like the attempt here. So let's, I mean, it's really going to depend. Like, like, If he can pull it off, I, I like that. I, I think it's the correct line to do this. I just know that if he's got two stunning leaders, that could be bad. Yeah. Agreed. Yep, there's one stunning leader. Well, I mean, he has to do it with the P-59 battle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but getting Hondo off the field and reducing, I mean, I don't mind going after Hondo, but I, I, I kind of would rather have gone after Joss Pure. I agree. Like, like Jasper is defense six, but yeah. at the same point he has no immunity. Exactly. Yeah. But and that's clash, a great too. Clashing there, I I don't know like how I feel about that. Like, I, don't I know agree you don't lose that. the 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 Jar Jar or the Kenobi. Yeah. I just don't. I don't think that was an efficient use of cards by Ryan. Yeah. And it looks like that is a uh, Isard going down to one of the docking bays. So Hayes just really spreading and putting pressure on. Yeah. Or no, it doesn't. He's not going down to a docking bay. Well, I mean, there is a card at the docking bay, so I think Chip was already there, uh, and so he's losing four this turn. Yeah. And yeah, that's a lot that just went away. Is that no Anakin? Escape? Oh, that is Anakin, not General Kenobi. No escape? Yeah, that makes sense then. Okay, check out this deck, seeing what's in there. Notice that he is playing two stunning leaders, at least two stunning leaders. Uh, he does have sneak attack in there. Ryan puts Walkley out of play to retrieve one. And here comes Kylo Ren with lightsaber going down in front of General Jar Jar and Anakin Skywalker. Yep. Ponda Baba coming down as well. This could be pretty bad. Ponda Baba? Dr. Ian e Ponda Baba. Oh, Dr. Ian e Ponda Baba. Yeah, yeah, it could be really bad. Prince Shizor coming down as well. Yeah, that's really awkward. Hey, he's going for the win here. Yeah. Making sure, uh, Hayes really concerned about the fact that uh, like he's he, just giving up on P fifty nine here. Yeah. I think. Well, he's going to move P fifty nine over to the hallway, I think. But he feels like this is his best opportunity to get some damage in. I feel. But if Ryan's got the blaster deflection, like. I don't know. Yeah, the blaster deflection would be big. 
Uh, if that is Anakin, he doesn't have to pay there. I thought it was General Kenobi. Um, I think the game, t the t the title's too long. Okay. Oh, Anakin is optional. Yeah. He misses. Wow, Ryan just catches. A no, he hits. He hits General Jar Jar. Okay. okay. So he doesn't go after Anakin. He does go after General Jar Jar. But with Shizor there, she, Anakin doesn't get a destiny. Yeah, he, Anakin will not get a destiny. So. And Ryan has to lose another force. Yeah. Ryan loses a. Handmaiden. Yep. Swings back, draws a definitely high enough yep. to hit Kylo. Draws a double back for Destiny. And I'm pretty sure that that's going to be Anakin going to the Lost Pile. With the Hojix. Yep. And Hayes grabs. Yep. Onto his something special planned for us, for yep. them. And I like the something special planned for us that they're playing because that gets back a ship. It's a second grabber. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I think they're probably playing blast or controls, so that takes away some of the utility of grappling hook. Although they may be playing grappling hook as well, I don't know. I mean, three grappers seems pretty good, especially yeah. when the second two are fives. And grappling hook's a really well designed card. Like the re the shuffle is really good. Yeah. Yeah. Set one had a or set twenty one had a lot of good cards in it. Set twenty one had a lot of cards in it. Period. <laughs> Ryan just cycling back his uh, shield puller. I still don't know what clones does. Hmm? I still don't know what clones does. Too many cards. It puts people on the table, does direct damage, uh, does a little bit of retrieval. People have tried to explain it to me. I just, I don't know. And there was that no escape earlier, so Hayes has got the stunning leader again. Yeah. Tom says it's like light side invasion. Ah, okay, cool. Thanks, Tom. I have to admit, I still don't know what that means. <laughs> Invasion's not a deck I really play either, Tom. I think of it like as a deck that does a lot of pew-pewing. Ah, okay. Okay, we have General Kenobi going down in front of Shizor and Kylo. Jedi lightsaber. Top, joining down, coming down as well. Tarful. I like Tarful. I like this because now I believe Ryan can initiate, use Tarful to say stunning leader. Yes, he can. That's why I'm not sure why he doesn't do that. At over, the, yeah. Well, no, no, actually room. stunning leader would be first because this opposite player gets the first action. Oh, that's, that's true. Yep. Thank you, Tom and Brad. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate the backup. And this is why you guys have made top eights, and I have not. Swings the lightsaber. Thanks, Tom. Hits the Shizor. That's a lot of power. Mm-hmm. I, 
I think you, you probably name, I don't know what you name with Tarful here. Yeah, I mean, it's it probably Sniper Dark Strike, if there's not a Dr. E. Maybe, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure either what he can play. Okay, Tarful is hit. So if he's, I don't think he can afford to stun there because he has to stun in the in the throne room. The line that Hayes has taken, he's trying to delay as long as he can the throne room, and he's pitched his resources into the audience chamber in an attempt to beat down Ryan. So he's committed to the line of using the stunning leader huh. at the throne room. That's a guard we don't normally see a lot of. What? My loyal bodyguards. Ah. Yeah. Well, that's for bodyguards, right? What's up? That's for bodyguards? Yeah. Okay. The handmaidens. Yeah. Okay, so Kylo and Shizor both go to the Lost Pile. I think Ryan the last time I played with the handmaiden was 2001. <laughs> Ryan initiates again in the throne room. But as we know... Hayes has the stunning leader. Or is he not going to and just play the gick? Obviously, he played the stunning leader. Mm -hmm. And again, Hayes is still doing three points of damage with drains yep. that he does not have to pay for. Four points. Four points. I'm really glad we got some sleep last night. <laughs> Wait, how did he... You said he did four points? Yeah, he did four points. He's got the... It looked like it was four, right? He had the guy at the dock in there. Oh, that's right. I forget she's over there. Yeah. yeah. There's just a lot of cards over in that little area. That's true. And, like, we have all this open space right above Ryan, and, like, everybody's trying to cluster over on under Hayes. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go check and see on our other match. Okay. Hayes, or uh, Ryan versus... Actually, let me do it, and I'll... You... You do this. We go check the other match. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, we got, looks like that's Oddball coming down to the throne room as well. Oh, that's not what that is. And we have a forced push from Hayes. Wondering what Hayes took there. Probably something to defend the P-59. 
from all those clones, handmaidens, and Republic Senators. Yeah, Sniper wouldn't be terrible there because you could uh, possibly Sniper one of the, the lower characters. But being that there's so much uh, defense value with Queen Amidala there, I don't know. Now, that actually makes some more sense. Going down with Arika V. Uh, now he can start retrieving, being that there's no Luke in the deck. So I, I do like this move by Hayes. And apparently Ryan does too, as you can see him smiling. There's resistance. And some more shields from Hayes. <laughs> I, I don't know how um, his watcher step would have uh, interacted with this dark side the dark side's pretty like, I mean I know Joe for in fact says that this is the best dark side out there so but again that is uh, he, he might be just saying that because it is Hayes and Hayes is a teammate but I mean it's a pretty good dark side I, I know of at least one good player who plays it and he's in the chat. Hello, everybody. Hello, Dr. Nick. Okay, again, Brad is going to check on our other game, Casey versus Brian Fred. I believe uh, Casey is the higher C, so he would have chose who to go first. Uh, it is Hunt Down versus Yoda Commuting, and then the Endor Pyre deck versus Invasion. Brad has safely returned from his trip, so what do you got for us? So, Brian Fred is established in space with Luke and uh, played the 2-2 Camino, uh, no, sorry, the 2-2 Theed Palace site. And oh, okay. uh, Casey has taken over the 2-2 site and played Coward with, like, three characters with lightsabers. Oh, that's not good. No. <laughs> so... Sounds like a fun match. Does. Huh? It does. <laughs> He's got out Erica V. Ryan is slowly moving over. But like so the match with Casey and Brian, like in space, you got Emperor Shuttle, right? And that's immune to attrition. You also got Luke and Ship and that's immune to attrition. So what is this matchup? It's uh, Yoda commuting versus. It's Yoda commuting versus Hunt Down. Oh yeah. yeah. But I mean, Ryan does play another site, mm -hmm. so he he can move over and establish a presence at some yes. point. Yes. But he's got visage damage in the meantime, mm -hmm. and he can't dream with Luke while Hunt Down is flipped, unless he's got Red Five, which he does have, so he's fine. But it's Red Five in R two and Red Five. No, it's not. Oh, he has both. Oh, wait, did he play R2 and R5 last game? Yeah. Oh, then he can't drain. Yeah, he can't drain. Oh, okay. Great. Yeah. Casey being smart and playing Hunt Down. Because everybody thinks he can't play Hunt Down on day two. Hunt Down's great on day two, guys. Yeah. But it sucks. What sucks? Uh -oh. Hindsight. Well, I mean, you can only tell a guy so many times. Yeah. <laughs> the reason I think Hunt Down is great on day two, guys, is because you do so much damage and you keep the games close. And yep. if you take over and do overflow, you can win a game by a lot. That's true. 
Also, people don't tend to tech for hunt down on day two. Yeah. Yeah, I figured that uh, a no surprise by Casey going with Hunt Down first. Yeah. Like, he knows that uh, Brian Fred is playing Yoda Community. Uh, he also knows that Brian Fred is playing Invasion, and that would be Invasion versus that uh, Endor Pyre deck. So it's better to start with the deck that has the most, uh, the better chance of higher uh, what differential. What are you talking about? He's got, he's got great possibility on both sides. Yeah. Like, Pyre, I think, should destroy Invasion. Yeah. Yeah. That's true, because Luke is uh, pretty beastly. I mean, you still got to play the game. Anything can happen. But uh, yeah, as we saw, favorite. as we saw with Casey's first game, everybody thought Casey was yeah. dead to the water essentially because it was hidden base versus hunt down. I mean, there are lines in Casey. There are found. lines. You just have to find them and follow them. And you also have to get lucky too. Oh Part yeah. Part of his luck. Oh, yeah. I think it'll come down to whether or not Brian's got an X-Wing gun to his deck or not. Mm-hmm. I I'm still surprised that Ryan hasn't done anything with that P-59. I know that the stunning leader is just a strong card. He has nothing to cancel it. So I, I think not playing quite a mercenary V in WAP is questionable. Yeah. Because you want to turn off Dr. E anyway. Yeah. Because you play so many small characters. Yep. You also want to stop Ellis. Yep. So I mean and you want to break U three PS cover, right? Because mm -hmm. like you do actually do some additional damage with draining, especially if you're playing lightsabers. Like at least play like maybe a impressive, most impressive V, because if you no, got the I, Jedi, quite a mercenary is the card you want for this yeah. situation for this deck. And Hayes is just very content to spread out and do a lot of damage. Until he just deploys R Sync with Blaster Rifle, bumping down in front of General Kenobi. And I want to say that's a Prince Cheezor. Almost like we've seen that before. Yeah. Has Ryan been fighting in the audience chamber every turn? He has here and there, but it's just the stunning leader and just being able to like cancel the battles are just so big for yeah. Hayes. There's a first strike. That's not going to help Ryan out any. No. Initiates. Hayes retrieves one. Ryan will lose one. He, was, he loses another handmaiden from his hand. I wonder if Ryan has a rebel leadership. And there's the barrier. No, that's a blaster deflection. Or yeah, blaster deflection. Uh, no grab from Hayes. Ryan swings and will hit Shizor. Destiny. I believe it's a two for Hayes and a four for Ryan. Ryan's probably going to add one with General Kenobi. Yep. So, so Ryan's got 11. Should be 11 to... F 11? Yeah. And Hayes will have to lose Shizor and R. Singh. Oh, 
More power. Uh, four long was there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he shot uh, General Kenobi. Made minus one power, power and minus plus one. two power. Yeah. Uh, he, so he's actually not flipped. Yeah, he's not flipped. Yeah, he's not flipped, and he would have had to use the force to cancel the destiny. And it has to be three, uh, greater than three. That's the yeah. So, oh, the two was really good for for Ryan. Like, that's the kind of destiny he wants to see until he can get rid of that P-59. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you could theoretically do that, but, I mean, it is normally better to plus your own. But yeah, being able to add to it and then cancel would be really good. Can that be adds to any weapon or battle destiny at all? When he's um, I believe so. That's so. Yeah. Because you can you can do it to any weapon destiny that he draws or they draw or your battle destiny or their battle destiny while he's alone. Yeah. Or with a clone. Well, uh, while alone, yeah, I may mean, activate one or add one to just draw on destiny, any destiny. Oh, any destiny. Yeah, I just as it, just as any destiny. That's so, cool. Yeah. So you could. Well, what other destiny do you draw usually in battle? Hidden weapons. As a light side player. Well, no, but if your opponent draws a hidden weapons. Oh, that's true. You yeah, can you add could. to the cap instead of capturing them, they yeah. just make them hit. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, that's a cool interaction. I hadn't thought about that. So the P-59 is finally out of the throne room. <laughs> I guess you could also do it to a weapon lev if you had the weapon lev shield yeah. up to yeah. make it actually steal the weapon. Mm -hmm. Okay. I see you, Dan Tartaglio. I mean, you could also theoretically do it to like a force lightning, but... Why would you why want would to? you ever want to do that? I don't think you would ever want to do that. Panaka and Fives going down in front of Erica. Stunning leader can't be used there. Correct. But the barrier can. <laughs> Ooh, Cantina Brawl. Okay. You think Ryan's tracking around for that yet? No, I'm saying Cantina Brawl is another good one. Oh, to add to? Yeah. I guess. Or you uh, can initiate a battle and add to it. Yeah. Yeah, you could. Oh, Fallen Portal is a really good one. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Th that's the question of the day right now. What are the best? Stuff. What's the best stuff besides weapon destiny and battle destiny that you can do? That with you General can do Kenobi. with General Kenobi. I think that's our trivia question. Oh, and he draws low enough to get rid of the clone, and uh, Panaka still sticks around. Yoda moves over, and now that Ryan's flipped, I mean he's going to do some damage. But he still but has he's, a pit he's taking a ton of damage. He has been taking a ton of damage That's the entire the game. Yeah. He's playing very smart in this matchup. 
because mm -hmm. he knows that once he loses the throne room, he's pretty much done so. If he doesn't have damage going. Ryan looks like he's only got three left. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's got a lot. Yeah. And I haven't seen Hayes lose a whole ton. No. Hayes has just been putting stuff back. You're all smiles right now. Like Joe Olson comes just comes down walking down the aisle like he's all smiles. I'm just Hayes Hunter is so good. It's a pleasure to watch him play. <laughs> I agree with you, Jeff. There's a handshake. Yeah, Ryan's just going to concede. So Hayes will advance to the finals. Well, that might have been the handshake for the game. Oh. Like, I don't know how, like, if that's a handshake for the match or the other. Like, it might be for the match considering yeah. Ryan's got an earlier flight. But I can't think he went all the way there to, and they're counting up piles, so. Yeah. I'll, I'll go ask. That's yeah. probably what I should do. That, that's, a, that's a good uh, uh, thing. Okay, so Hayes did win that. So we have an update that was just game one. Hayes by 22. Yeah, so, again, Hayes takes game one by 22. Third, uh, he has 16 in lost piles to Ryan's 37. Yeah, I just can't wow. see Ryan advancing this far and then scooping the entire match on one game. Like, you play. Like, even if you've got, like, not a great shot, you still play game two. If you see it's not doable at some point, then you concede, but yeah. you try. Okay, so we will return after a short break. Uh, I do expect that both players will come back here momentarily because, again, Ryan does have a flight here, and uh, he's got to get there for three hours. Yep. I'm so, going to go check on the Brian Fred match and get some reports. Yes, we'll, we'll double check on that, and then we'll come back. I believe they are streaming that one on Sam's uh, Twitch, so... Yeah, but we can but give some still, information. We can definitely report it to you guys because we're up to 71 viewers. That's great. Yeah. Welcome, guys. Okay, so but we will return. Everybody, uh, stand by. We'll ha come back with our next uh, top four match.
Okay, and welcome back to game two of Ryan Jelson versus Hayes Hunter. OB Commuting versus ISB. What are you thinking? I think this game might go to 10. <laughs> no. Uh, Hayes showed me some of the surprises that are in this deck. Oh, boy. Okay. Like, this is definitely a Team 5 special. Okay. Well, I hope it works out well for him. But. Uh, but here we go. Hayes going with uh, I must be allowed to speak. Walkling and Saitor Kalfas. Ryan going with I uh, believe that is established control. Blah. Uh, battle order and first strike and imperial rest order any thoughts on this matchup so Obi commuting well I mean Obi commuting is a good deck it's a very good deck it gets used pop holes it plays magic weapons in most of the builds that I see now um, I mean you can play it somewhat like Diplo if you want to that's mm -hmm. what I did for a while but like yeah you, uh, it, it typically plays weapons um, as a mains platform they play Clash they play Sorry About the Mess and that's really bad on decks like ISB unless they've got something like mm -hmm. War Beast or um, Crush Rebellion things like that that stop those cards um, because essentially it's a scrub deck right it's, it's basically uh, no idea except it's got damage reduction and force strain bonus instead of the ping damage now, one thing is if Ryan is able to go to space and just sit some guys up there, do a lot of damage up in space, he might be fine because he has that retrieval engine. But again, you're, you're gonna have he's gonna have to go to the ground at some point, being that he's down by 22. Yeah. And that well, that's I, the I mean, issue. ISB lives on the ground, and like if he's starting battle order for a strike, he's probably not afraid on the ground. Mm -hmm. So I would expect some garrisons. The question is going to be, is he prepared for the tricks? Because yeah, Mains has tricks. That's what Mains has been known for since the inception of Mains. Mm -hmm. And there's also the, the special Team 5 tricks. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. But those have been the tricks around since the beginning of the game. <laughs> some of them. For the most part. Obviously, there's new cards that come out all the time. Uh, I don't think that works because it's only in battle. Oh, hit and run. Okay, that that's true. But he would have to be in the battle. Yeah. But I like the creativity, Aaron. That that is a good use of General Kenobi. I agree. Yeah, I like it. But I love it. Why would you want to add one to the destiny of making your ship not move together away? Well, for gravity shadow. Right. So you want to make your ship lost? You want to make your ship not move? Yes. Well, yes. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's creative. It is creative. I will give you that. It's very creative. Oh, yeah, if it matches. So you make it one. Or you make oh, it yeah, high, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 yeah, so it doesn't go lost. That's a good, yeah. that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, ship uh, ship being able to uh, being forced not to move is better than the ship going boom boom. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes it can be really bad. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember originally with Sigma we were playing like three Gravity Shadows. Yeah, I would have loved to have seen uh, Batmouse play Gravity Shadow today. That would have been really good for him. Well, it wouldn't have done anything because Brian Fred played three TTUs. Or Batmouse. Yeah, that's just team. Uh, that's just the new allies putting Batmouse on a deck and knowing what to do. Yep. I think I told him they would do that too. Yeah. Bill Kiefer told me last night they would do that. I know. 
It's like they know him. It's like they know him, exactly. But, hey. Man still is in contention for player of the year. He's a, well, going into this, he was a leader for the player of the year, so he has yeah. a right to do whatever so the heck he one. wants to do. Yeah. yeah. Although, with Hayes making it to the top four, I believe Hayes is now going to be in the lead. Yeah, I, I think they're tied, actually. I don't know. I'm going to let Bill take care of that points. Yeah, well, I mean, they're going to figure it out. It, yeah. it, it all depends if Hayes advances here, and it's looking like Hayes will being up as much as he is, but you never know. Anything can happen. It's Worlds. Mm -hmm. I know Hayes was mad at himself because he thought he could win by at least 26. Ah. So Hayes is going to play angry. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Well, Hayes is a perfectionist in some ways. Yeah. All in all, it's been a good weekend. I mean, we have a first-time champ for the first time in three years. We had Greg Shaw get inducted to the Hall of Fame. The top eight was really fun to watch. A lot of good games yesterday all throughout. Absolutely. The meta was – it was just – It was so diverse. It was so diverse. Yes, there was like, what, 11 of these SSA uh, desert landing sites? Yeah. But outside of that, we had clones. We had QMC. We had WAP. Yeah. We had Sigma, we had Zero Hour, we had all sorts of decks that you don't see a lot of. Granted, there was no uh, OA and no ROPS, but still. Yeah. I mean, we had all three forms of commuting yesterday. That's good. We had uh, Revenge of the Sith Vader. Good. We had Hitka, we had everything we had what we had both light side and dark side set it like just the oddities i loved it H hidden base let the wookie win hidden base without this objective johnny chu making another top eight again yeah like just making another top like him making a top eight casey advancing into the top four brian fred getting into the top four like the storylines on and on and on. I just this is what makes me come back to this game. As we sit here and as Ryan guts out all three of the Shizor sites. He also has the Palpatine site. He is going down with the Moss S or Moss Isley and the farm. And we currently have the two tallest uh, players right now on stream. Yeah. It's almost funny standing next to Hayes. I know. Well, that's like the, there's the – Kim took a nice picture of the top eight where you see Ryan's and uh, you see Batmouth standing next to – in between Ryan and Hayes. Yeah. It's hilarious. I'm just glad that nobody we didn't have to buy uh, get Batmouse a uh, booster seat. Yeah. That's a low blow. <laughs> Hayes gets out I the uh, Obi Wan add effect. Uh, I can't believe he's gone. Yep. Uh, that again will allow him to add to a battle destiny in battle. Activate one. And, or pay one to add plus three or plus five to power in battle as well. Well, no, that's the Obi Wan that does that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Obi Wan adds it, but that so gives you the plus what one. The card and oh my does. gosh, there's a Gunita. Surprise card in a while. Surprise number one. Okay. I like shield busting. Yeah. And and the thing is, Ryan's already shield busted. Well, that's awkward. Yeah. So this is gonna get real fun real quick for Hayes. Yeah. Let me do the interview if Hayes wins this. Oh, 100 percent. Okay. If he wants to do an interview. Yeah, if he wants to do an interview. 
He's notorious about not doing interviews. Yeah. And I think what we'll do is, I know Joe had expressed, if uh, Hayes makes it to the finals, he's expressed interest in doing commentary. Yeah, that's fine. So we can have you and him on commentary. Yeah, I'd love to do that. And I'll just run the stream. Okay. Ryan getting out another dock, getting out the docking bay as well as Fondor. So there's a lot of activation going on for both of the uh, both players. But again, with Goonie, I mean, the Goonie Ta is good because it gets around some of the characters. But I mean, it, gets, it hits Tarkin, it hits Agent Callus. Yep. Uh, I believe it hits the two new ISB uh, characters, Deidre and uh, the Major. Uh, it hits Vader as well. So I don't know like what else Ryan is playing, but being that a lot of the ISB characters have ability two and less, I don't know like it, it it's cute, but I, I don't know how impactful it's going to be in this game, but we'll see. Yeah, we will definitely see. activates we see that he does have oh it hits uh it's sarin as well and we do see that there's two lord maul with lightsabers in hand yeah like ryan talked to me oh a little no that's bit about his deck his, i'm yeah, sorry he, ryan talked to me a little bit about his isb before day one and he likes playing some mains mm -hmm. choke vader i think he mentioned yeah we uh, saw one in lord there maul with saber some high destiny I uh, did see a Never Yarnall in there as well. That's good against uh, No Idea. Yeah. Also good against Jen Urso, but I feel like that's less good against Jen Urso than simply, I don't know, playing comms game detection. I think you'd put it in there for the No Idea, but yeah, again, I I, I'm not sure like who would play No Idea in going forward in this meta. I don't know who would play No Idea on day two. Yeah. Out of the field that mm -hmm. presented itself. Because I don't think anybody in the top eight had reps with it going in. At um, least not that I saw. Maybe Joe. But I, I would assume like Joe would play the best deck. And I know they view that this Obi-Wan communing is one of the best. Or their Obi-Wan communing is the best deck. Yeah. So maybe not that. But outside of that, like you don't have a Greg Shaw. You don't have... You don't Drew, have Bill Kafer. You don't have Bill Kafer, Drew. Yeah. Uh, Mike Kessling. You don't have those guys. Brian Fred... While he's on the team, I feel like he doesn't have the reps like, say, one of those players do. Not with that deck. Not with, yeah. And Brian Fred hasn't played a whole lot this year. No, so he hasn't. The fact that he's doing as well as he is is an incredible testament to his playing ability. Exactly, yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. I would like to see Ryan, Casey, B. Fred, or Hayes all in the finals. But between the four of them, I think the most interesting finals would probably be Hayes versus Brian Fred. Oh, that would be a history laid on finals oh yeah two old school players who know the game really well yeah who, who've been like they've won other events and they've been so close to this world championship I, I wonder if hayes knows brian's secret weakness talk to him no don't talk to him well so That's when i true. sat down with brian fred and he revealed diplo against my sigma last year at nationals i was like brian no no offense but we went to time yesterday. I'd rather just play and see where we go. That's true. And yes, we uh, yeah. Hey, like I said, Hayes won in the pre PC era too, but he's not won worlds. Yeah, he's won a lot of things, but he's never yeah. won worlds. Same with B Fred. B Fred has won t uh, tournaments as well, and he's he's uh, uh, gone to a lot of top baits. Yeah, but it's been for a while. Yeah, that's another good point, Justin. That's true. I do know if Brian Fred wins, there's going to be a lot of hams drunk tonight. It's, it'll be a good night. Yeah. I it'll think be a good, good night for, it's for, be a good for night anybody. Either way. It'll be a good night for whoever wins. Yeah. I'm just really excited. I, I know all the guys in the top four. I'm really happy for all of them. 
And surprise number two, we have Beggar on the field. I would expect a draw there fired at some point in this game. Yoda going down to the the moisture or so the farm. So fun thing about Beggar is it gives you one activation all the time. And uh, Hayes with a revolution on Fondor. Well, that's great. That means the executor won't come down for cheap. No, it, it does not. Padme going down to the farm as well. Just like in the movies. Lando coming down. Giving Hayes a force pile pull or a use pile push or pull. Master Luke. And I do believe Beggar is going to go away. If he used more than one force, yeah. yes. Because when I mean, he deployed, uh, I think he only had four cards in his use pile. Okay. So. Well, if he used more than one force, Beggar goes away, but he can retrieve it and play it again. Exactly. Like, it might be really funny to use the beggar to play somebody. Yeah. And then Hera the going beggar. down as well. He's just stacking the farm. I, I don't know how I'd like this. Well, I mean, when you when you go up against somebody who's down by a lot and starts draw their fire combo, you have to be a little bit worried about maybe losing mm. the game early. Also, if you're playing Nabrin, it's a good way to shore up a victory later. Well, the problem with that is Imperial Arrest Order is on the table. You can still move around, just not during the point where yeah, you're going to win yeah, the game. You can't, and you can't move from... Uh, but he's probably just getting the use pop pulls right now, and then he's going to either yeah. Nabrin or Odin over to wherever the other guys are. Mm -hmm. And then just chase him around. But he's not losing yeah. anything by doing this. Yeah, he's using all of Ryan. It looks like he's using all of Ryan's force. <laughs> this moves everybody over. Yeah, moves everybody to Moss Eisley after doing all of that and using all the force that Ryan had saved up. That's kind of crazy. Burrito or taco? Check your phone. I put pizza. I think they went there. Uh, just. So Hayes has moved over, lost the bigger. Ryan is really far behind at this point. Yeah. I mean, activating all that force and then just losing it all, kind of a kick in the, the pants. And right he's there. not doing any damage, so yeah. Hayes can Unita the, no, the, uh, the bigger back. Not sure what that card Hayes just put into the lost pile is. And here we go. Ryan's going down with Ozil, Tarkin's bounty. 
That's a good way to get cards for mm -hmm. not much force. Not at all. I mean, zero for the Ozzel, and then putting a, a Ozzel or Tarkin's Bounty on to grab another card after you play Force pop Push, pretty good. You mean Tarkin's Bounty, your card? Sure, we'll go with that. Uh, yep, Cold Feet played to uh, put on uh, to cancel Gunita. That's a good play. So he does have Gunita. There's Lieutenant uh, Deirdre, one of the two of uh, the new set 21 cards. Yep. Bad Mouse is getting food. Yeah. Thank you, though. And the ISB stack has come down. There's a Tarkin. Tarkin, major. Uh, looked like it was the new major character, and I want to say that's Veers. So that sh should flip him. Yep, there's the flip. Aim high on the table. None of that would have been possible with the Goonie Tay on table. Yeah. And Ryan not leaving any force. So just... Because he's because he knows about the Unita possibility. I'm sure. The Unita? Yeah, because you start walk lane. Yeah. You're just walk lane for the Unita, get the beggar back. And, and then, then do it all again. over again. Yeah. Yeah. Because Hayes hasn't used his walk lane pull yet. Mm-mm. Personally, I want to see Walkley gone. I'm tired of it in every deck. Well, don't tell that to Eric Hunter. That card's been around since uh, the PC was created. No, not since it's been created. Walkling? Yes, it was the in the very first PC set. No, it wasn't. Walkling? Mm -hmm. Was it not? Mm -mm. Oh, it was the one he won he got for winning, right? Yeah, it was an early V card design by Eric, though. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it was I early. thought it was like in the first set. No, no, no. There was ten cards in the first set. Was it General Veers and mm -mm. Commander Luke? I thought those were the first ones. Mm -mm. Uh, Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, fusion generated core, uh, fusion generated supply tanks. I'm not talking about after the reset. I know the very, 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 very first one. Back in 2005. 2002. Yeah, they they had General Veers and mm -mm. Luke. Mm -mm. The very, very first one was Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader. Okay. Hans Blaster, pistol. I remember uh, that. Um, uh, one of the stormtrooper guns that nobody ever uses, that we they no longer have, the fusion generator supply tanks from Premier, Sitor blaster, uh, blaster rack, uh, black two and or one of the yeah black two and uh, gold leader Y wing, not okay. gold leader and gold two. My two. mistake. I could have sworn uh, Walkling was in there. I remember it was very early on. I think it's both. <laughs> like, I, I, I actually liked that the PC did something where they just blanked completely ROPS and a Brave Resistance. I like Brave Resistance. It's a great I, card. I liked it. So, I don't like blanking entire decks right before Worlds. I'll be honest. I don't like blanking That's entire fair. decks right before Worlds. People have been putting in prep for all year. And, like, I just think... I mean, I get that there were a lot of complaints, but there have been complaints about those decks for a long time. Yeah. Like, what what moved the needle this year? And that's some love for you, Mike Kessling. For who? Mike Kessling. Plays OA? He played or used to play OA? Yeah. Okay, so Hayes does do the Cantina Shuffle. Moves on in. There's Lieutenant Blount going down to uh, Coruscant. So that's going to flip Ryan back. That's, I, I'm not surprised to see Blount in the top eight, but wow. that like Well, considering how much ISB there was. Yeah. Yeah.
And now we're having a need to see Ryan do something about that lieutenant. But I, I'm not sure I agree with where he was put. Yeah. So while Hayes has done a lot of dirty tricks and advanced his board significantly, he hasn't done a whole lot of damage yet. That's true. And ISB retrieves pretty regularly when it's flipped. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think he's. Uh, I don't think Ryan's has lost any ISB characters yet. Right. So there's that. And then the other thing is, being that now that he's flipped on the zero side, I mean he's only doing damage of one at the farm. Yeah. Uh, battle order is on the table, so he would have to pay for it. And then he's got Lieutenant Blount to deal with. Well, I mean, I assume he has characters, right? Yeah. And it looks like Hayes has some answers. Okay, so he does have the Hojix. But like you were just saying, oh, there's the Unita. I was going to say he could just Unita the Lieutenant Blount back and then... Yeah, he could. But now Unita is back on the table. What did he get back? The bigger? Yeah. Of course. And I want to apologize, guys, if I can't see the cards very well. I have bad eyesight. <laughs> have for a while. Ryan extends this hand. And I believe that means that Hayes Hunter will advance to the finals. That's incredible. Way to go, Hayes. So we will go ahead and uh, let them clean up. Yep. Hayes on to the finals. Like... That's got to be a heartbreak for Ryan, coming in so close. I agree. But, I mean, Hayes played an impressive game one. Oh, Hayes played it on fire both games. So, we'll go ahead. I'd like ahead. to see how uh, Team 5 actually took some notes from KTOD on the uh, deck that MHT used to win the the uh, OCS last year playing shield busting then. Oh yeah, that was a fun deck to watch. That was it's a fun, a fun deck, deck to, to play. Yeah, it is a fun deck to play. play I agree. You get sixes, you got beggar, revos, goo, inserts, all the degenerate stuff, but it's super fun. Yeah, I'm a I'm a big fan of shield busting. Well, Someone give me a headset. I'll go on and update the stream with what happened at the end of that game. So at the end of the game, Hayes plays Blount. Yeah, we saw that. And uh, uh, he had shuffled everyone into the cantina. And then you could see going on screen, he's like, he picks up arrest order and reads it. He couldn't, he was going to nabber a bunch of the dudes over to go with Blount. Yeah. But he couldn't because he was at the interior site. So yeah. Blount was left all by himself. Yeah. To get beat down. So did Ryan win? But no, see, but but Hayes Hayes reveals the Hujix, and then um, uh, so that there was nothing. So yeah, it would have killed it would have killed Blount or Jellison. Jellison Hayes reveals the Hujix, and then Jellison showed his hand to the camera. Who's basically like, I've got nothing yeah. to 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 deal with that, and so then he ended up scooping. Yeah. Okay. Um, but. But Thanks for explaining that. The whole Hayes, Hayes totally screwed that up, was trying to nabber and guys. He wasn't just doing a lone blount. I was he wondering wanted about to, that. Was like, he just needed to not shuffle the guys in that? so he could nabber and over from exterior to exterior. Yeah. But so that was Jellison's opportunity, but Hayes had the but, hoojicks. You so know, then it's he was funny. Like, okay, I didn't I see arrest order deal. on Jellison's side, and I was making a comment that Hayes was piling up like he had a nabber in the yes, entire game. Yeah, the entire time. Yeah, and we actually right. mentioned Because that's the line I saw him taking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dan was totally right, by the way. Uh, uh, Veers, Veers and Commander Luke were in the Hoth sets, like, in, in 2003. Okay. In 2001, it was the original Luke, V, and Fusion Generators, and yada yada. All, all, that was all correct. And Walkling was later. Eric won it in Oregon. Was it 2004? Yeah, 2003 that Eric won. That's yeah, been a while. So. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. No, it's been 20 years, so it's fine. But just confirm. Like, I haven't looked at any of that yeah, stuff in forever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 I, I know my history about this yeah. game. I have yeah, I, you do. I know nothing else. This is why he's your host, guys. I know nothing else in the world, Joe, <laughs> except for the history of this game. Uh, does Hayes want to be on for an interview? Well. 
Yeah, it does not happen often, Jared. Okay, so we're going to take a little break. We'll actually check on the other match, see how that one's going. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'll vast in my uh, glow the fact that I was actually right about something for once. Well, it happens a lot. Come on, give yourself some credit. And then uh, the other channel is Yoshi. It's uh, twitch.tv slash Yoshi uh, underscore 13. I can't type for some reason because I have to really have to log in. Yeah. Man, it wants me to sign up. Let me see if I can sign in. Oh, log in. Duh. <laughs> I like that. Okay, and if you're interested in the consolation, uh, Sam Olson and Greg Shaw at the top table, Corey Lauer, Benji, Ch Benji Chu is at table two. That's cool. Scotland Grell is playing Kendall Hallman. Okay. Wayne Cullen versus Chris Gogolin, Andrew Moss versus Chris Westergaard, Lee Edwards versus Steven Salucci. Sam Tashima versus Matt Lutz, Logan versus Garrett. That would be fun to watch. That would that would be fun to see. Uh, what Garrett Ryan Logan. Weissman versus Chris Wirfs, Vikram Bali versus Chris Kelly, Pat Johnson versus John Vesey, Carl Koenig versus Jeffrey Johns, AJ Hatoum versus Mark Walset. That's that would be a fun one. Yeah. Uh, Edward Sheehan versus Apollo Chu, David Woods versus Travis, Matt Thornton versus Chad Lawrence, and Tommy got the bye. In the to uh, in the constellation, so a lot going on today. Uh, we have our finalist Hayes Hunter. We're waiting on to see if it's going to be Casey or Brian Fred. It might take a while to find that. Might that. take a while because <laughs> they were. They, I don't think they even were done with time on the first game. No, by the I don't. We're I think here. you're right. So uh, we will return after. Uh, a quick break we'll get some uh, an update we might actually stream game two of brian fred versus casey as we have some time so we'll see what happens and uh yeah everybody stay tuned it's gonna be a fun finish yeah 